All right, with the solo beer review today, I like to start off by thanking uh, Liana and Newman for doing those seven or eight that we did. It was a uh, it was a day I ended up throwing up. Yeah, but today doing Anchor Foghorn Old Foghorn. Yeah, it's a barley wine style ale. Um, Nine point four percent. Let's see. Yeah, the anchor steam that we did was really good of this. Uh, made with top fermented. You know, I'm not reading this because I'm going to end up doing this the whole day. Uh, it just says it's a barley wine style ale brewed with natural flavor. It smells like a weak IPA. Really, really bready. Uh, hops kick in after you swallow it. It's the hops I like. It's more the pine instead of the, the grapefruit. Uh, let's see. Now that I smell it, the, the hop smell kind of goes away. It's a little thicker beer, which I like. Neighbor's dog came under the, the fence here. Brittany, your dog. Don't knock my camera over. Yeah, I could really get used to this, though. It's, uh... I've never had a thicker IPA like this before. I kind of like it. I'm sorry, it's not an IPA, it's a barley wine style. But it tastes like an IPA to me. No, don't do that. The dog was licking the bottle. No, yeah, don't do that. I'm not giving you none. You like it? Yeah? Yeah, you like it. thing is, I don't think I could drink a whole bunch of this. It's a little too thick, honestly. I mean, like, this is thicker than some stouts that I've had, so... There's a little carbonation in there, but it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of carbonation in it. If you like IPAs, this is actually pretty good. Uh, if you, even if you don't like IPAs, I would I would try this because uh, it's kind of in between. I'm not getting the the burn from the alcohol. I don't even I don't even taste it. It's like what nine two, nine four. This is going to be a creeper, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's got the, the bread and the zing. Feels kind of heavy in my stomach, though. 
I don't like that. This is my first beer in like two days. The last one I had was a. Uh, it's either the pumpkin head. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Last night I had a, a Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout, and then the day before I had a, a pumpkin head sh made by Shipyard, which me and my wife made a spice cake out of that, and it was, it was pretty damn good. I did get this from Broadway Liquor. This is a. Uh, Pretty sure it's a new beer they started carrying because it's the first time I've seen it. They always hook me up with the good stuff. That doesn't really thicken the glass, but God, it's, it's weight on my stomach. Let's see here. It tastes awesome. Uh, flavor, I would, I'd give it a good eight. But the way it's made me feel, I mean, uh, I'll just go ahead and get it, give it a seven, because uh, I'd honestly get it again. But it's it's one of those sipping beers. I'm telling you, maybe that's why the alcohol is so high. Make you sip it. <laughs> Now that it heats up a little bit, I kind of get more of the, the barley flavor they're talking about. It's, it's less bread and more of a, a grain. Mm, yeah, that does taste a lot better when you, when you warm it up with your hand a little bit. So there you go. Old Foghorn Barley Wine Style Ale. Uh, I go ahead and give it a seven, and the dog liked it.